A container has 40 liters of milk, then 4 liters are removed from the container and replaced with 4 liters of water. The process of replacing 4 liters of the liquid in the container with equal volume of water is continued repeatedly. The smallest number of times of doing this process after which the volume of milk in the container becomes less than that of water. Oh, nice. First it has 40 liters of milk. Then I remove 4 liters and remove and replace with water. So the 36 liters of milk. What am I doing? I am removing 10% of this liquid. 90% is retained. And I am replacing it with water. So the next stage when I do, I will be removing 4 liters of a mixture of milk and water. It will go out and then it will be replaced with water. So I am removing some water and adding some more water. I am removing milk. So I am going to think about only how much milk is removed. 10% of this 36. This is milk. I am tracking only milk, not overall volume. So 10% of 36 will be removed because I am removing 10% of 40. 10% of 36 milk will be removed. 10% of 4 water will be removed. I am going to reframe the equation saying look, I am not removing, I am not thinking about how much milk is removed. I am thinking about how much milk is retained. How much milk will be retained? 36 into 90%. After doing it twice. Nice, I'm onto something here. What will I do? If I do one more time, I'll do this number 36 into 90 percent is 32.4. 32.4 into 90 percent. Every time I do this process, I retain 90 percent of the milk that I began with. Whatever milk I have, 90 percent of that I'll have. Now I'm done. The smallest number of times of doing this process after which the volume of milk in the container becomes less than that of water. That means this volume of milk should be less than 20 liters. So effectively, I am saying I take 40 multiplied by 0 0.9 several times to reach a point that this number becomes less than 20. That's all. Find n. The small, if you do it 100 times, it will happen. I know for sure. Milk will practically disappear. We want to find the smallest value of n such that this is possible. And so I'm going to think of this is go away. This is half 9 by 10 whole power n is less than half. 9 power n is less than 10 power n. 9 power n into 2 is less than 10 power n. 9 cube is 729. It's less than 1000. No, it doesn't work. Three times it doesn't work. This is, I'm going to think of it, you can think of it as 0 0.729 compared with 1. Definitely it doesn't work. I can square this also. 729 whole square. 7 square is 49. 700 square will be 49, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then this is 29. I think my gut feel is 2 into 9 power 6 will be greater than 10 power 6. 9 power 6 is 729 into 729. 7 into 7 is 49. 7.1 into 7.9 will be more, 7.1 will be more than 50. Do 71 square. 4, 6. Yeah, yeah, 71 square is more than 50. So 6 won't work. Maybe 7 will work. Again, if I have a calculator, this becomes super easy. Otherwise, what are we doing? We're doing 729 into 729. 1, 8, 18 plus 8, 26, 6, 2, 63, 6, 5, 6, 5, 6, 1, 2, 9, 3, 18, 8, 1, 4 plus 1, 5, 14 plus 2, 16, 7, and then again, 6, 5, no, 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 no. 63, 3, 6, 14 plus 6, 20, 0, 2, 49 plus 2, 51, 5, 1, 1, 4, 1, 10, 14, 4, 1, 10, 13, 3, 1, 3, 5, 3, 3, 4, 4, 1 into 9, into 0.9. From this, 
we are subtracting 5, 3, 3, 4, 4, 1. Yep, that will become less than 50, less than half. So, 7 will work. 2 into 9 power 7 is less than 10 power 7. This won't work, this will work. 7 times there will be more milk than water. Of course, doing this, the calculator is going to be that easy. We don't have a calculator, so we are doing this roundabout method.